So um, everything started with a call from Scott West. Um, me and Scott, we worked together in Antarctica campaign. You know, he have been has been doing some kind of works, um, uh, controlling the situation, environmental issues. So what he proposed me this time was not to work as a photographer or journalist, what I used to be in Antarctica, I used to do in Antarctica campaign. But this time he wanted to ask me if I want to join him to do undercover work in the Faroe Islands. The Faroe Islands, it's a, a little group of islands between Scotland and Iceland. And what happened there, it's a massive killing of whale. So what we did um, together, I had a spy camera on me. And everywhere we go, we try to make friends, to make friendship with the whalers. So every kind of privileged information we could have, we could pass to the vessels that was under patrol. We made a list with all the killing bitches, all the areas that the killing of whales were happening. So we could have an idea and reference from where to start. We rented a car, we drove from north to south, uh, and we tried to develop some contacts with whalers. We made also a boat trip, because most of the fishermen, they are whalers as well. I also met this guy, um, and uh, for some reason he was looking at me that way. I think he was not happy with Paul Watson's presence there. So as you can see in his t-shirt. And something that really made myself horrified it was the culture of death. So you could see whale bones everywhere, just decorating the houses, cities, museums, and even, you know, everywhere you could walk. I had to stay in Klaxvik for four days. There was a suspicious possibility of having uh, what is called a grazing, a uh, whale killing, whale slaughter. So I stay at this bed and breakfast uh, in Klaxvik, and I met this guy, and he said in my last day, well, I would like to, you know, uh, offer you a um, traditional fairies dish, and it was a whale meat. That was uh, the most difficult day of my life. I couldn't stand it. I felt sick and sad, but I knew that it was necessary to do this mission. And uh, the fact that I didn't want to compromise anything, everything that we had done, I ate it, and I had to listen, you know, him just explaining how exciting it would be, you know, to see the bay full of blood. And this is the last uh, whale station that I have been uh, it's quite sad because you can still smell the whale oil everywhere. And this is a typical image of um, the grinding. Uh, as you can see, you know, there are boats everywhere. What they do, they call each other, they make noise to make the whales completely lost. So they bring the whales onto the coast and then they kill them. There, is, there are kids, there are families. There are lots of people around, and for them, this is a big event. So what th something that I would like to say is, if the oceans die, we die, simple as that. Thank you.